Hi to everyone, I'm Lisa and uh, my project uh, starts from a uh, furnace uh, in uh, the northern part of Italy uh, that uh, is uh, specialized in making handmade ter terracotta tiles and uh, that is uh, in need of a structural restoration due to some uh, damages that uh, the building received during a violent hailstorm last year that destroyed some parts of the ceilings and the roofs, and due also to the fact that uh, the, the plant is in need of increasing the production because uh, uh, the, the market is uh, growing very, very fast and they need to adequate it to the, um, to the market request. Uh, now we have uh, um, a reality in which uh, the factory building, the production change and the surrounding environment are like uh, uh, puzzle pieces without connection with each other. So my first challenge was to imagine a way to integrate uh, them in a unique system uh, to reconnect it with nature that is really, really present uh, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this Italian area because uh, uh, we are surrounded by a, a landscape that is really, really present. It's a strong presence on the, on the countryside. And in the meantime, uh, optimize the use of resources that are needed for the functioning of the, of the building of the furnace. Uh, minim minimize the waste and uh, activate a recycling system that uh, may connect all these parts. So I started uh, studying the, con the, the context, uh, the actual, uh, the, the current, the, the local ecoregion, and I discovered that we, we are in the Po Basin mixed forest sub ecoregion. And uh, this is really fascinating because uh, um, up until the Middle Age, this area was uh, uh, full of wetlands. That, has, that have gradually disappeared due to agriculture and, and then also with the industrialization advent. So I tried to study uh, what is the relation that uh, my project area has with water? Where is water in my project area? And uh, I really found that uh, water divides my my area because uh, uh, it's uh, only channeled in artificial uh, irrigation system that is needed for the countryside for the um, cropped fields and uh, another connection that uh, my area my project site has with uh, with water is uh, a conflictual one because uh, it's connected with uh, the atmospherical damages that uh, my my site uh, received the last year uh, the only constructive, if we can call it so, um, relationship that my area has with the water is the hydrocat machine that has recently been introduced to uh, implement the production and to uh, make it more quick, make, make it quicker. Uh, but the water that had the, the hydrocat machine uses is uh, mm, it belongs to the city water supply, so from a, an artificial source, not a, a natural one. So I proceeded with the discovery phase um, and uh, in finding natural models that uh, could help me with the water management, with the management uh, of uh, the pollution that uh, uh, the water of uh, um, irrigation channel uh, have because of uh, the um, nitrification project process uh, of uh, uh, fertilizers and uh, the consequence uh, reconnection on the, or creation of a connected system of all the aspects involved in my, in my site. And uh, I focused on different types uh, of a uh, specific natural models, model that is uh, the wetland one itself, because uh, we have different declination of the, the wetland uh, uh, natural model. Uh, they, all, uh, they all fulfill the main, um, function connected with water, so regulate the hydrological flow, capture, absorb and filter water and cycle nutrients. But you know, um, each of them has a specific approach to each of these uh, function. And uh, one or another are most interesting for one type of uh, function than another. Uh, so I took uh, all this type of uh, 
function, all these functions, I put them on my on my constructions on my project site. Uh, I brainstorm the function and find and found an action that uh, a specific part of my site could fulfill, could achieve. Uh, without uh, really considering for now which natural model could be applied in each of them. So I discovered that uh, uh, I have uh, mm, a collapsed area uh, at the beginning of my site uh, that is due to the, the, the excessive uh, paving during the years. Uh, I have uh, irrigation channels that move beside my 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 site. Uh, I also have a stocking paved paved area that is really chaotic by now because uh, all of the stuff that is pro productive is put in this uh, external area. Um, as I told before, um, I have this situation with the skylights that are damaged by the hailstorm and uh, um, rainwater damages uh, the the roof because of it. And uh, I also have another collection tank uh, that uh, is now used only uh, for collecting the water from the hydrocut machine, but uh, no one recycled it. Is it is only needed to capture it. So I tried to put the function, the verbs, and connect only the function that this part of my puzzle may fulfill and may achieve. And uh, I brainstormed how they may achieve this type of function with um, taking care of uh, each specific peculiarity of is obvious each piece of my of my project uh, so i move moved along and uh, i i had my first uh, important feedback loop on my on my challenge statement because i focused only on water uh, I started thinking about uh, uh, optimize the use of resources, but I discovered that uh, to create this uh, closed and the recycling cycle, I had to focus uh, on water and all the other resources uh, I needed were secondary in this part of my of my job. So in my abstraction phase, I discovered which strategies each of the natural models I selected uh, may, may fulfill. So gravel bed, the peatland, the wetland itself, the wetland in a huge uh, interpretation. Uh, I translated all the um, words that, uh, were, that were uh, biologically uh, connected with the natural model. And uh, I transformed them, taking for an example, the peatland that uh, has this characteristic that uh, it has a flat topography, um, has a wide uh, development, uh, like uh, it is a, uh, a great sponge that block water, that uh, restrain water. Uh, so I thought about it like a flat surface made out of a highly absorbing material. Uh, made uh, of a modular microstructure, and I proceeded this way with all the natural models. And then I made the same thing I, I did with the discovery phase. I took these words and I put them on my, on my site, and uh, I tried to find uh, the, the connection. So you have this uh, wide surface that is a flat surface, uh, that is all paved in concrete. So the water runoff is really, really huge. And uh, maybe a macrostructure that uh, work like a maze that goes along the, the, the pies may work. Uh, maybe also a microstructure like a sponge that absorbs water may work um, in substitution of the concrete. So I tried to substitute all the artificial aspects of my, of my site with a natural approach. So I thought that uh, the, the, the border, the, the, sorry, the, um, the area that is uh, here at the beginning of the site may become a bordered area that uh, will be suitable to receive all the water of my system. Uh, because uh, it's near to the um, irrigation channel, it can work as a um, arrival point of all my system. 
and uh, can allow the water uh, may allow the water to be reinserted in the um, irrigation channel at the at the end of the purification. At the same time, I thought about the the problem I have with uh, the skylights, and I thought that this is the only situation I have uh, an uh, dif a different altitude, so I can play with the gravity, uh, with the fact that I'm a different uh, level than uh, all the other sites. And uh, this may work uh, uh, in transforming the concept of a gravel bed in a cascade aerator that may allow uh, to begin an oxidation process. At the same time, we have this um, basin at the end of the of the of the site that only restrain, only contain the water from the hydro hydrocut machine without recycling it. And uh, what is what it is uh, basically? It is a retain a retaining basin uh, connected with the an oscillating use of water. And uh, I thought about it like it is it may become an um, artificial rain garden. I could transform it in a rain garden. So I evolved my my abstraction phase, trying to find all of the connection from uh, the function that my uh, specific area of my site may uh, fulfill with a connected um, with a connected uh, natural model uh, so we find that uh, this uh, the bordered area area may become a wetland this flat surface may become a mazed peatland um, that uh, connect uh, with the serpentine watercourse. Uh, what happened inside the, the funnel and cascade aerator system uh, with the final part uh, that is this border area, and uh, the final part uh, in, uh, instead of the my construction site may become a secondary tidal red green garden. I called it tidal because it is uh, strictly uh, connected with uh, a tidal um, approach. Uh, um, both from the channel ir irrigation channel, uh, both from um, and also from the um, use of a hydrojet uh, machine that is not uh, continuous. It's a it's a spot uh, use. It's an oscillating uh, uh, use of uh, this machine. Then I came back to the to the context and uh, to the production chain that now is uh, a linear one. You have all the phases from the handmade tile station to the um, polishing, sorry, to the uh, dry machine, and then to the to the kiln for the um, for the clay tiles realization, the polishing phase, uh, and then the hydro cut machine that is the the last phase. It's a linear one, and there is no uh, really um, waste um, waste management. Uh, um, the only thing thing that is uh, recycled recycled is uh, is the heat that uh, um, is uh, created is um, is connected to the use of the kiln uh, that may be uh, channeled in the um, in the dryer uh, to use it again. In the in another phase of the production, but uh, really any almost uh, uh, nothing is recycled now in this phase. So you see how my project area may become, and I will zoom it. So we have the wetland. That uh, is where we have uh, the paved area that collapsed one year ago. Now here we have uh, this uh, serpentine that uh, goes by the um, stocking paved area, allowing both to uh, regulate the hydro hydrological flow of uh, water that belongs uh, uh, to the to the building, uh, both to give uh, some sort of an uh, a new order to this stocking area because uh, we have to use it as a stocking area. We cannot uh, avoid to use it in uh, its uh, peculiar function, but we can uh, integrate it with uh, a natural aspect. So we, we slow down the uh, water flow with this serpentine system. 
the water that arrives in the wetland may be reconnected with the channels, irrigation channels, in a, and it's a purified water, it's not, a, uh, it's not a contaminated by pollutants. And then when we have to deal with the rainwater, we channel it inside this Fanas plus Cascade Aerator system. And from this system, it goes inside the artificial peatland I have designed in this part of the project. And at the same time, when we use a hydrocut, hydrocut machine that is here, all the water that is used may be channeled into this uh, tidal rain garden that receives the water and uh, clean it from uh, all the dust and clay powders uh, um, that belong to the to the hydrocut uh, uh, laboration. So to better explain what is and which is the real potential of this project, I made these schemes that identify the different water cycles because we are dealing with a living system and we cannot abandon it without water in some part of the years connected to a dry, dry periods, summer, instead of really heavy rain periods like winter or, or autumn. So we have two different approaches. One that uh, is uh, related to dry periods uh, of the year when uh, rainfalls is, uh, there is a scarcity of rainfalls. We can take water from the um, irrigation channels and channel it uh, inside the peatland, clean the irrigation channel water and uh, remit it uh, in the channel, uh, in, the, in the irrigation channel system or use it uh, to, um, inside the, the hydrocut machine process and then we introduce it in the secondary uh, wetland to clean it further and uh, introduce it again in the irrigation system. Instead of this, uh, of this approach, there is the approach we will have uh, during the rainy season. We will collect the, the rainy water from the, from the roof, from the, from the funnel system. We will uh, integrated in the hydrocut machine once the water is cleaned from pollutants. And then the water will be reintegrated inside the channel system. Or instead of it, if we don't need the water for the, for the hydrocut machine, we can simply clean it with the peatland, with the serpentine peatland and the, the wetland and then reintroduce it in the irrigation channels. There are also two collateral process, uh, processes I discovered uh, during my evaluation phase uh, that are strictly connected uh, with um, what can we do with water, also that using it to clean itself uh, or use it in the, uh, in the hydrocut machine. We can use it uh, to cultivate a land that we have here. Um, we can use it to create uh, a virtuous uh, um, approach uh, of the people that uh, live uh, and work here. Uh, because, uh, you know, a um, lot of the people that work here are Indian and African people uh, uh, from the lower, um, from the lower society levels. They don't really have an identity inside our society by now. They are really exploited uh, the most of the time. They don't really have an identity in the place that they are in because uh, this is not their home. And um, they, they live uh, mostly in uh, popular houses in, uh, in, in ghettos uh, or in clusters. Uh, for this reason, um, this uh, project may also have a collateral, ethical, um, collateral ethical social effect with the, the people that work uh, and live in uh, in this uh, in, in this factory and uh, this is it well done wow incredible incredible work phenomenal i mean there is so much here in your project